I curled my hair, I have a tripod, and my life has finally, is finally coming to place. Sh by the way, shout out to Joanna for buying the tripod for me. <laughs> hey guys, so obviously, as the title of this video implies, it is a get ready with me using my favorite products of 2016. Yes, I am well aware it's 2017, but I did make a previous video, which was my last video. I have a card down he up here, and as well as a link down below of the video uh, showing you guys my top 16 picks for the year of 2016 so therefore I also and also in that video I said that I was gonna do a get ready with me using those products if you like the video and some of you guys did so here I am so yeah let's get started I did say that I was gonna use the infallible pro matte I did say that it's one of my favorites but today I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D lock it tattoo foundation because uh, I'm going somewhere and I have to look flawless and this makes me look flawless and this has medium coverage so sorry if you guys want to see how this works I have a video of my updated foundation routine that I will put a card here and most of my videos tutorials has this foundation included so I thought just to use this one I hope you guys don't mind that too much but yeah enough chitter chatter and I'm just gonna continue on to the clip. The first product that I will be applying is my L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base, and it's basically a primer. It comes in a jar. It's like a really, really moussey textured. I think I've used this in almost every single tutorial that I have on this channel. And get ready with me. So I'm gonna put that in my trouble spots areas and my chin, my basically around my T zone, kind of. That will help smooth out my face for the foundation. And the foundation that I'm using, again, is my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I did say that this was my foundation of 2016, but again, I have to go somewhere and I kind of want to look flawless, like no imperfections whatsoever. So I'm using my Lock It Tattoo Foundation. I hope you guys don't mind. I just. Sorry. <laughs> So I basically, I put it just on half of my face so you guys can see the difference that this foundation does with it on and without it on. And I know it looks like it's not my, my skin, like a match for my skin, but I promise you guys that it is. I'm going in with my Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush and basically brushing that onto my skin and blending it in. So, yeah. Look at that difference of this and this. I feel like I look matte and I just look so good. I love this foundation. I love this foundation. Just the foundation of all. with just one coat of foundation coat of foundation and as you can see I can still see some imperfections so I'll just go over that with more foundation and just tap it out as if like it was a concealer because this foundation is very full coverage so it will help <laughs> Okay, this is the only product in this video again that I did not mention in that previous video but everything else I mentioned and I'm gonna demo and yeah so getting started I'm gonna be using my LA girl pro conceal concealer in yellow corrector and I'm gonna be using that under my eyes to help brighten my under eyes So as you can see, I basically just did an upside down triangle under my eye to help brighten my under eye circles um, and I feel like this uh, yellow corrector really helps brighten up my eyes because I feel like because I have a yellow complexion, I just feel like it works in a way and it helps brighten up my eyes so I use it. <laughs> And to blend it all out, I'm using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush that I did include actually in my previous video. So yeah, um, it looks like I don't clean my brushes, but I clean them like 
less than a week ago but i use these brushes on a daily so obviously they're not gonna be clean so sorry um but yeah i'm just gonna blend it out using either circular motions or just up and down strokes up and down strokes for my nose and for my upper lip and for under eyes i'm just gonna be using a circular motion to help blend it all out and not make it look so kicky can you tell the difference? Can you can you see how brightened it looks? I feel like the yellow concealer is basically like banana powder but just concealer form. So I feel like it does help brighten my skin, especially because I, again, I do have a yellowish undertone. My friend called and while we were on the phone, I just decided to do my brows really quickly because I already have a very thorough review, uh, a very thorough video of how I do my brows using my Anastasia dip brow and how I clean them up with my L'Oreal uh, true match look a concealer that I can show you guys and link you guys I have a card up here showing you, uh, linking you guys to that video so I felt like there was no need to show you guys that if I already have a review about it so therefore a uh, video about it not review like the same review <laughs> so yeah but I decided to move on and I'm gonna set my concealer under eye concealer using my LA colors I love makeup contour palette and I'm just gonna set it using these two shades and now that that's set I'm gonna be using my up and up powder brush and using my L'Oreal true match uh, true match powder in W6 and just setting my foundation lightly okay so after I finish setting my foundation with the powder um, I'm gonna be using my modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia and I have a very thorough review about it so I'll put a card up here and a link down below of the review so in case you are interested you can watch that so since I already set my uh, my eyes with the powder my uh, my LA color powder I'm just gonna go ahead and just start with a transition shade so for a transition shade I'm gonna be using raw sienna and my elf crease brush I believe and basically just putting that in the crease to create a nice shade to allow my other eyeshadows to blend more seamlessly so that transition shade I apply a little bit more a little bit above the crease and use winter winter wiper motions and now I'm gonna be applying red ochre in my crease to make it a little bit more warm because I am gonna be doing a smoky is smoky ish eye so after blending that with the same brush I'm basically again using window wiper motions and circular motions and for my eyelids I'm going to be applying antique bronze with my eyelid shade from Coastal Scents and if I have any fallout I'm just going to be using my elf my elf my wet n wild powder brush which is basically clean and just swiping it away so I'm gonna be taking a clean blending brush which is my elf crease brush and just basically blending both antique bronze and the two transition shades a little bit better and I'm gonna be blending those two shades together so it won't look not blended <laughs> and just to deepen the, the outer crease a little bit more I'm gonna be taking cypress umber which is this dark matte brown and just applying that there so it could make the eyeshadow look look a little bit more intense and smoky which is obviously what I'm look going for so after I finish with my upper eyelid I'm gonna finish with my lower lash line and I'm gonna be using the same shades basically I'm gonna be using a little bit of red ochre to apply that in my lower lash line <laughs> And then I'm going in with Teak Bronze and Cypress Umber. Umber? Is that how you say it? And basically going again with my lower lash line to make it look smoky as well. And then going in again with the e.l.f. Uh, blending brush, um, I'm going to be blending the lower lash line. And just to finish off the look a little bit better, I'm going to be taking a little bit of tempera and golden ochre and applying that underneath my brow bone. And 
And just for the sake of it, I'm taking a little bit of Primavera on the same detailed Coastal Suns brush and applying that in my tear duct. And I am done with my eyeshadow. So usually when I do my face, I do liquid foundations or liquid products and I use my eyebrows. Then I do my eyeshadow and then I go back with my face powders. That is exactly what I'm going to do with you guys today. So I'm going to be using my LA Colors Contour Kit. And I'm going to be using my Mary Kay Blush Brush, Cheek Brush. And I'm going to be using both of them to bronze up my skin. I'm going to be taking this shade right here and this shade right here and using that to bronze up my skin. After I finish bronzing up my skin, I'm gonna go in with my Bonita Flawless Contour Kit and with an angled brush, uh, angled Coastal Sense blush brush um, to put on my contour powders. I'm gonna be using a mix of these two colors to contour my face. I'm going to be taking a clean blush brush from um, Eco Tools, basically just blending both those powders together just to make sure that they don't look like two lines, but instead look more blended. So after putting bronzer and contour, I'm going to be taking my Milani uh, Rose Blush in Coral, Co Coral Cove and my e.l.f. blush brush and basically applying that on my cheeks. So after I finish applying my blush, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes with my e.l.f. lash curler. And apply my tele L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm pretty sure none of you guys want to see me apply mascara, but uh, because it is one of my favorites from the year, last year, um, I want to show you guys how I apply my mascara, so therefore you'll see me apply the mascara a little bit. And that's my eye look with the mascara on and I feel like it's just a very simple smoky eye so it's pretty easy to do even though it took me like five minutes to explain to you guys what I'm doing it usually takes me like three minutes to do it because it's just three shades and done four shades and done so yeah so now I'm gonna be applying the L'Oreal brow stylist plumper again one of the many uh, products that I included in my previous favorites and I'm gonna be applying that on my brows obviously <laughs> just to set them in place to finish off this look, I'm going to be taking the Scandinavia The Makeup Finishing Spray and Oil Control and spraying my face. And of course, how could I forget applying highlight? I'm going to be applying highlight while this dries on my face because I feel like it creates the biggest impact and the biggest kapow. <laughs> kapow? What's up with my sound effects? Um, and I'm going to be taking my Jacqueline Oh. I have the contact right here just so you guys won't see it and just so the product don't crack again on me but I'll be taking my Jaclyn Hill Becca Cosmetics uh, highlight and champagne pop to my cheeks with my Morphe fan brush which are both favorites I just walked out my room because I needed to get some lip products just to finish off this look. So you're just gonna see my towel in the open door <laughs> for a while. Um, but I'm gonna be applying both of these lip products and I'm gonna be applying, how many times did I say applying? I'm gonna be using um, my Elf and Wild Love Matte Lip Color and Timeless Chick and my Mocha Licious Lip Color as well, also from Mountain Wild. the completed look guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah guys so obviously this is my favorite products and my go-to products to use honestly especially this lip color lately has been a go-to because it is fall and it's like nice 
in dark but not like too dark and it's kind of wearable to, in my opinion so I have been loving this so I'm gonna go all glitz and glam to a burger joint that's how we do it here in New York City um so yeah guys thank you guys so so much for watching I'll catch you guys on the next one I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed my curly hair today I hope you guys enjoyed my face I guess and me talking and I hope you just guys just enjoyed my company in general and if you guys are getting ready with me while you watching this video have a wonderful day or if you're watching this tonight have a wonderful night i hope you sleep well but yeah guys thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed me getting ready with you guys or getting ready in general and yeah don't forget to like this video if you like this type of video if you guys want me to do more get ready with me and don't forget to comment video requests that you guys want to see or just anything down below to start a chat i'll conversate with you <laughs> that's a weird way to say it um and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my face a little more often or tutorials from me um and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one i have all the pre all the videos um that i mentioned down below as well as all the products that i use as well as my previous video and all my social networking and if you're accompanying accompanying <laughs> if you're company looking to search out for me i'll leave that my email down below as well so yeah guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace